This guy right here is called the error function and it's used in a lot of math and physics. And so the fact that this can be used to represent the probability of making an error pretty easily is often glossed over. And so I'm going to show you why this function is called the error function. And to do that, we're going to start with our OG Gaussian distribution, which you can see on the top here and then do a quick substitution with z equals to z minus mu divided by sigma root 2 and so our derivative with respect to z is that guy on the right and so now substituting those in you'll notice that our integral already starts to look more like the error function after we cancel out some root twos and some sigmas in our fraction on the left and so now we'll just split up the interval at zero and then we can use the fact that this left part within our brackets here is just half of our Gaussian integral, which you'll recall evaluates to root pi. And so since e to the negative z squared is an even function, we have root pi over two for our integral. And so we can plug that guy back in and you should be like, wait a minute, we're really close to our OG error function. So we'll just be multiplying our rightmost integral by one in this form of root pi divided by two times two divided by root pi. Then you can notice, okay, that's literally our OG error function from the first slot. So we plug that guy in. And then taking our root pi over twos out, we make some more progress. But now you'll just be like, okay, wait a minute. This is not that useful, right? You still haven't said why this is called the error function. So I just want you to consider the case when the results of a series of measurements follow a normally distributed random variable x that is centered around zero. As in that case, we can represent the probability of that error lies between plus minus a as this probability here, which I represent on the right using our normal CDF. And by the previous slide, right, we see that this guy is our huge guy in the middle and so again we're just using this trickery here you know the fact that the error function is actually odd we can move our negative on the right hand side out from inside the error function to get this guy on the bottom and yeah i hope that explains this because we're done